and welcome back to the Velocity Channel where this is your bridge to financial freedom. Listen, today we have a real scenario in which someone wants to use their line of credit to pay off their loans. They're wondering what is the best way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and give you a scenario that you can use starting today. All right. Use it right after this video. But before we get into that, I want you to like, share, and subscribe so that everyone around the world knows the power of Velocity Banking. As is our custom, we're going to break down to you what is going on in this debt scenario. We've got a loan, a real loan, of $30,000. Now, this particular individual, for whatever reason, they didn't feel comfortable sharing the percentage rate, but that's okay because they gave me the monthly payment and we were able to, with calculation, all right? get that interest rate. So the interest rate is going to be around that 8%, $524 each and every month. Remember, when you are paying that $524 a month, the reason why you may be sad to know that your balance isn't going down that much is because it's being segregated. Do you remember? We talked about segregating income, how it's a bad idea for you, but it's a great idea for the bank. And so this is how they segregate it. $199 is going to interest. The bank says, thank you very much. And $325 is going to the principal. Believe it or not, this isn't bad. Why? Because at least there's more going to the principal than to the interest. Now, as we go over here to our line of credit that they are working with, they've got $6,000 at 30%. Now, remember, the more this number goes up, the more that you're paying towards interest. Now, I know that seems like, uh, duh, but this is what I mean. Remember this $180 each and every month that they want you to pay? Well, that's getting split up too, okay? One part is going towards the interest and another part is going towards the principal. So here, and of course it depends on the lender, but right here, it would seem like there's gonna be more of this $180 that you're paying that's gonna be going towards the bank than to the principal that is paying this down. That's why we ignore all that, right? And make sure that we are utilizing our lines to the best of our ability and how we're using our lines optimally is implementing velocity banking, all right? Now, let's just say you've got an income of 5,000 each and every month, okay? What you were taught ever since you were little is to go ahead and make sure some goes to savings, make sure some goes to your car, make sure your some goes to your credit card, you treated your credit card, you treated your credit line like a bill. However, that's segregating your income. And by the way, if you're going to be paying more in interest, that means there's going to be less going to the principal. I mean, remember that story of the $28 a month. Well, that's nothing. Guess how much goes to interest here? Let's check it out. Let's just go ahead and break it down. Let me show you so you can actually do the calculation on your end how much goes to principal and how much goes to interest. This is how you do it. You take this percentage rate right here and you divide it by 12. Now, in this scenario, that's going to be 2.5%. But how do you write that in decimal form? I'm going to go ahead and write 2.5%. Okay, percent. Now, how you write that in decimal form is you always take this decimal and move it two places to the left. So one Two, it's gonna be a zero right there. So that's how you write it, okay? 0 0.025. You're gonna take that 0 0.025, multiply it by the balance of $6,000, you'll come up with $150. That's how much is going to where? That's how much is going towards interest, which means what? How much of this is going towards principal? $30. Doesn't using the line of credit sound like a good idea now as your new checking account? There you go. All right, so that's why we do it, all right, to get rid of all that mess that they got you guys going through. So let's go ahead and get rid of this loan, all right? Let's do it. So since we've already established that, yes, we still got expenses, right? We're going to go ahead and 
take that out so that we have the cash flow of $2,000. Where's that cash flow going to be located? It's going to be located within this line of credit. So we take the balance of $6,000 divided by $2,000, which is the cash flow, okay? And we come up with our velocity term. How many months are we going to be in this debt? How many months are we going to be in this balance? And it's going to be three months, okay? Three months to pay the $6,000 off. Now, it doesn't matter if it's $4,000 you're making as long as you're making the the $2,000 in expenses because it's the cash flow that matters. Remember, the cash flow is what's paying down that line of credit. Now, let's go over and go to the loan here. If we push, because since we're going to be out, right, in three months, if we push the $30,000, right, down to the $24,000, how much of the 8% interest is that going to affect? Is it going to affect the $30,000 or will it affect the $24,000? It's only going to affect the $24,000. Do you see why we want to get rid of that principal? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to, as soon as we're done, after the three months, we're going to replenish our line of credit and we're going to deploy it to our loans. So this is going to become 24, right, in three months, right? The 24 will become 21 in what? Three months, okay? And on down the line. So this is what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what we're doing. Okay, let's map it out, okay? Month one, 24K. Remember, you're replenishing and then deploying. So what does that mean? After the fourth month, you deploy it again. Now you're down to 18K. Month seven, because remember, it's gonna take us three months to get rid of that $6,000 that we just deployed, all right? Month seven at 12K. Month 10, 6K. Month 13, 0K. You're out of there in 13 months. That's just one year and one month. Oh, and by the way, you're only out $933 in total interest. Versus the other way, you would be out $7,871. So whatever 7871 minus 933 is, uh, that's how much money you put in your pocket. Sorry, I don't know the uh, common core way of doing the math here, so we're just going to go ahead and do it like this. Is that all right? That's how I grew up. All right, we needed to, we, we had to do math with our hands. 6,000, we didn't have calculators. Just joking. We had calculators on our wrist. The watch calculators, remember that? Shout out to Casio. $6,938 you put in your pocket by just routing your money a different way using the line of credit as your friend instead of your enemy, I have no idea why you would want to cut up your leverage. I don't know and don't care because <laughs> we don't ever want to cut up our leverage. If you have any questions on this, please, the first line is what you need to connect on, okay? The first line of it, moneymaxaccount.com forward slash velocity channel. It's going to absolutely take you perhaps to places you've never been before as far as velocity banking is concerned and how many options out there you actually have with your line of credit, without your line of credit. It doesn't really matter because when you're saving $6,938 in interest by doing things the non-bank way, you got to at least ask yourself, why haven't they told me about this? Because their way, you would have been paying $7,871, but the better way, you're paying only $933 in interest. And that's just one example. God bless you, and we'll see you in another video.